This video provides various examples of journalizing transaction. November 1st, Chris Clark deposited $25,000 in a bank account in the name of Net Solutions. Right away, we know the two accounts, cash and capital, and the balance, $25,000. How do we record these transactions into a journal? Step one, the date of the transaction is entered in the date column. Step two, the title of the account to be debited, cash in this case, is recorded in the left-hand margin under the description column, and the amount to be debited is entered in the debit column. The title of the account to be credited, capital, is listed below and to the right of the debited account title, and the amount to be credited is entered in the credit column. Next, a brief description may be entered below the credited account. And finally, the post and reference column is left blank when the journal entry is initially recorded. And this column is used later in the chapter when the journal entry amounts are transferred to the account in the ledger. The process of recording a transaction in a journal is called journalizing. And the entry in this journal is called a journal entry. Let's examine this journal entry. There are two accounts, cash. Cash is increased and it's an asset. Increased from an asset is on the debit side. So that's why it's debited for $25,000. And the other account, remember a double entry account system, two or more accounts. The other account is capital. Capital is increased $25,000 and capital increases on the credit side. The total debits equals the total credits. Account and equation assets equals liabilities plus owner's equity balances. November 5th, Net Solutions paid $20,000 for the purchase of land as a future building site. Right away, cash was paid, so cash decreased and it's an asset. Assets decrease we recorded on the credit side the other account land it's also an, an asset and land asset was increased because of the purchase the company gains this asset and asset increase on the debit side so we record land increase a debit twenty thousand dollar cash a decreased for the payment to purchase land Credit $20,000. The description is purchased land for building site. Both land and cash are assets. One increased $20,000, the other decreased $20,000. They offset each other within the assets element. There's no impact on liabilities and owner's equity. November 10th, Net Solutions purchased supplies on account for $13.50. Right away, the two accounts we know is supplies, that's obvious, and the other account is not cash because cash is not being paid for this purchase, but it's purchased on account, meaning that it's gonna be paid in the future. Right now, it's on account. So we record it to accounts payable, a liability account. Therefore, for supplies, we debit because supplies is an asset. Assets increase on the debit side. A way to remember is AED, assets, expense, and drawn increases on the debit side. And assets, the supplies account, debited for $13.50. Accounts payable, a liability account, is not part of AED. Therefore, it's increased on the credit side. So this liability, this obligation is established a balance of 1350 that we need to pay off to the supplier in the future right now it's an obligation credit accounts payable 1350 account and equation assets on one side supplies it increased accounts payable liability on the other side of the account and equation it also increased account and equation balances